Hey guys, it's Rod and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Today is Saturday and I have a new one command creation for you. Do you have a house and you think that it is kind of stupid, that is not clever? Well, that's the best command for you because it's going to add some smart house devices. Okay, if you haven't unsubscribed yet for my really bad pun, we can finally continue and show you guys what this one command creation adds. Uh, right, so of course you have to give yourself a command block using this command in chat, give it p command underscore block and you'll get a really nice command block. Then you have to place it down into your world and then you have to go and copy the command which is on my website and which you can find it in the description of this video. You paste it inside this command block using Ctrl plus V, press on this button, press on done and the machine will be generated in just a few seconds. Alright, here you can activate or deactivate the machine and by right clicking this and you can get all the crafting recipes which I should have done before starting the video because I don't have the items ready in my inventory. Uh, okay, I'll pause the video and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. That didn't take much time to make. So as you can see, all of these crafting recipes are using the same object which is a block of redstone uh, together with another item which can be one of these ones. So let's start with the first crafting recipe which allows you to create some door automator okay well that didn't go as planned come on guys one and one all right so drop on ground one sticky piston and one block of redstone to craft an automatic door now to show you guys how this item works i teleported myself to a village and this is the only village that doesn't have doors right in a video where i need doors i'm not even kidding guys you can take the seed and try it by yourself it doesn't have doors and go to these coordinates um, Alright, I guess that I have to take a door by myself, let's place a door down and you know sometimes you just want your doors to be automated, I know you can place uh, some pressure plates but they occupy space, maybe you don't have the space to place them and uh, maybe you don't like them, so why not add this really nice item which makes your house smarter, you just have to place it where there is a door, right here, you can see that nothing happened but don't worry because this is going to change your life. So. You can see that now the door closed automatically behind me and it will also open as long as soon as I am in front of it. You can see that I can go in and out really really easily and this works only for players so it will not be activated by mobs. Now this of course works for all the rotations of a door. It can be placed in this way and if I go close and then go back you can see that it closes and opens really quick and instant. And let's place the door for example, oh, also you can see that if you remove the door, it will also give you back the item, so you will not lose it. So you can see now I place the door in the other side, and uh, if I go close and then back, you can see that it works perfectly in all the different directions, but only for the wooden door, so it will not work for the oak wood door or the other ones. Also this is going to work in the same way on uh, fence gates, and of course it doesn't work on the other fence gates, only on the oak fence gate. And you can use this if you have a farm of animals and you want to enter, you know. It's really easy, you don't have to press uh, to put pressure plates uh, on the inside because they will, would be activated by mobs, for example. And all you have to do, you put the automatic door egg on the ground like this. And yeah, it works in the same exact way. You can see that it opens and closes as soon as I am passing through it. Really nice and useful. If you want to remove it and get the spoon egg back, just destroy the gate and you'll get the item back. Now let's jump on the second item and this one uses three note blocks and one block of redstone to craft a doorbell. Now a doorbell as you might guess it's a doorbell so you can ring it alright so let's take a button it works together with a stone button make sure that it's not a wooden button it works only with stone buttons let's place it here and if we press it you can see that nothing happens okay but if we add this item here the doorbell and voila don't right click on the button but right click on the block on which the button is placed and we summoned it now if you push the button you can see that it has this really nice effect it's just a doorbell so you can stress out your friends even more <laughs> Alright, so if you want to remove the effect, just destroy the button and you'll get the doorbell spoon egg back. But I want to keep it here, for example. Now, uh, the next item is for those people who stress you with the doorbell, okay? Just keep in mind that they could have a trap in front of their door. And how do you craft it? First of all, you drop down four pistons, normal pistons and a block of redstone to craft a normal stand switch or actually 
fail. This is not the trap. Okay, so if you drop down four pistons and one redstone block, you will craft a armor stand switcher. Now, this is a really, really useful thing, which it's doable in vanilla Minecraft. I mean, without using command blocks, it's doable with pistons, but it's also doable with command blocks. So I said, why not make it? Why not make it if I can? It's a lot more compact than the other met met methods with pistons, and also you don't have to create the machine by yourself. You have everything already done. So let's take a couple of armor stands, uh, where are them, and uh, all you have to do to set up this armor stand switcher machine is like this, you place four armor stands in front of you, like this, in a X shape or a plus shape, do it, call it how you want, and in the middle of this cross you have to place this spawn egg here, and it will summon another armor stand. Now the first thing you can see, oops, is that the armor stands now don't have a base, pa base plate, and also they do have the arms so you can place items in the arms of these armor stands and as you just saw before if i sneak you can see that the armor stands will change their position will rotate and of course you can use this as a armor stand switcher and you can place for example different types of armors on them for example let's see let's say that you have uh, a chainmail armor here okay we can place the items and i think it started to oh no time set day really quick Alright, so we have here uh, the first armor, which is a chainmail. Then, if I shift, I can switch to the leather armor and uh, just let's switch this one. And voila, we have the our, the diamond one. And if you have some other items, you can just use them on the last one. For example, let's place an item on the hand so you can see that it works. And voila, guys, you have a really nice and compact uh, armor stand switcher in vanilla Minecraft without using even pistons. See how many things you can make with common blocks and of course you can create something like this so the other armor stands are not visible, only the first one is visible. And look at how nice it is, I mean it's a really good effect, really nice effect. And you can switch between your armors, leather, diamond, uh, empty and chainmail and so on. Look at that, it also has a really nice sound effect. Then if you want to remove this thing, of course you have to break the block on which it's placed and as you can see you can also place blocks where the armor stand is so you can of course hide it and if you want to remove it just break the block on which it's placed and now the system will not work because of course the armor stand is not existing anymore so next item is I think that is finally the trap yeah so let's drop down 40 NTs and one block of redstone to craft there are two items here we have an intruder trap and the trap activator so as I said, if you have some really insistent friends that are uh, constantly ringing the doorbell in front of your door, you can place one of these traps and they will come useful maybe. So all you have to do before you have to prepare the area. So dig down a 3x3 blocks hole and make it deep as much as you want. Make sure that it's deep enough so if players fall they die of damage or you can place some lava at the bottom of this pit then after you did it you have to cover the first layer with any block any kind of block that you guys want it can be dirt it can be wood it can be any type of block it doesn't matter and on the middle okay on the middle of this 3x3 area you have to place uh, the intruder trap like this you can see that nothing happened but don't worry because we summon an invisible armor stand if you go in game mode 3 you can see it there now together with this armor stand we need to use the trap activator this trap activator works only if it is in a radius of 10 blocks from the trap itself so you can place it uh, in the inside of the door oh well oh i forgot that i have automatic doors you see how nice all right so you need to take another stone button to make it work you place it down this time it doesn't work if you place it on walls so you have to place it down and you you put the where is it the trap activator on the block on which the button is placed like this All right and if you press this button look at what happens so you can see that the first layer of this pit disappears and then appears back now we are using a clone command so you can use for example other types of blocks as i said guys and it will of course work work as well you can see that the same block got placed back uh, make sure that you're not in a really really high place like make sure that you are under 220 on the y-axis where is it for example you can see that i am 71 if you are if this number here is less than 220 you are uh, don't worry because the trap will work this is because we are going to tell it to clone this part this part of land up in the air and then it's going to be cloned back in the ground so when an intruder is in front of your uh, house and you press the button he will fall down and of course the pit gets 
replaced with whatever blocks you placed and no one will see it and your friends will die down friends or enemies it doesn't matter will die down in this hole in front of your house so yeah guys these are four ways you can make your house smarter you know in the case it is kind of stupid you can make it smarter with this one comment creation <laughs> okay jokes aside i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video as well it's a kind of small it's not actually a really small com one comment creation because it occupied the same space that most one comment creations occupy and uh, actually it took me only three hours to make this one comment creation this is the fastest one comment creation that i have ever made in minecraft and this is probably because i have a flight in a couple of hours like in five hours i have to leave home and right now is like 4 a.m and i need to be really quiet so yeah guys i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did so don't forget to drop a like under it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already also 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 my channel is going to reach 200,000 subscribers really really soon probably tomorrow or monday this weekend I'm not at home because I'm outside the country, as I said I have a flight today to Germany and uh, I'll not be able to make a special video, I'll not be able maybe to answer to your comments but don't worry guys because I'll be back on Monday with new one comment creations and maybe maybe if I have time I will make a 200,000 subscribers special. Right guys, so I really want to thank you all for watching this video until the end and uh, yeah, I guess that I'll see you all in my next video, see you, bye, have fun.